Genius Kids. Cultivating Love for Learning. Chapter 7. Master Your Moods. Get Connected. Self-Awareness. Our emotions have a huge amount of power over our choices and actions. We can either become a master or a slave to them. When you are a slave to your emotions, they can destroy you. If you fed emotions good, you may be good to others. Never tease the poor and weak, always help them. Control your emotions and be a respected person. Knowledge Acquisition Value, control your emotions. A man who is at the mercy of his moods can never be a leader, a power among men. One never knows how to deal with a moody person because his state of mind depends upon his moods. If he is in good humor, he will be optimistic, amiable and cheerful. He will readily agree to any new plans, he will be bubbling with energy and he will be ready to help anyone. But when he is in one of his bad moods, he becomes pessimistic, sullen, sore, unkind and discourteous. He infects others with his gloom so that people try to avoid him. A person who is oversensitive is very prone to moods. He feels that whatever he does, whenever he goes, and whatever he says, he is the center of everyone's interest. He is self-conscious about his appearance, his manner of speech and his behavior. He imagines that others are criticizing him, poking fun at him and passing jeering remarks about him, when they may not even be conscious of his presence. As a result of this sensitivity, he becomes moody, dejected and disheartened. He does not realize that other people are too busy and much too interested in themselves to devote so much time to him. Anupma was an oversensitive and an imaginative girl. She used to brood over what others said and analyze every simple remarks. She made herself miserable by imagining that she had many enemies. She sunk into her depressed moods thinking about what others would think and say when they saw her pimples. She became unhappy, gloomy and irritable. Her classmates did not even try to be friendly with her for fear of hurting her feelings. They stayed away from her because she exhausted their patience but asking them what they meant by certain expressions, looks and gestures. She made others feel as miserable as she was. She had very few friends, indeed. One day, Anupma asked her teacher how she could improve herself. The teacher told her to think less of herself and more of others. She told her not to take offense so quickly, but to stop thinking that others were bent upon hurting her feelings. The wise teacher advised her to master her moods. Anupma took this advice in correct spirit. Gradually, she was able to overcome her moodiness. If you are a slave to your moods, you can never do your best. When things go wrong, think of the brighter side of life. The best way to keep out darkness is to switch on the light. The best way to shutting out depressing thoughts is to think of happy and beautiful things. A person who can smile when things go wrong, has a tremendous advantage over a person whose courage collapses. The next time you are in trouble or feel discouraged and think that you are a failure, resolve that you are going to be happy. Seek some innocent amusement that will cheer you up, go and see your friends, think of pleasant things, read something humorous. Do not blood. Learn to dominate your moods. The world has little use for a person who is a slave to his moods. Like, share and subscribe.